I welcome the Minister of Education and guests. Uh, uh, we are students from the University of Rwanda, College of Science and Technology. We are part of empowering mother and the research from that university. Um, we have developed a system which can use the human power through a pedaling system to generate electricity. Uh, I can ask my comrades like to pedal and show the minister that you can produce our electricity using the local made materials. Our system, we can use our system to write alarms, to charge computers and phones. As you can see here, we have and also we have an AC part. Uh, by the way, also we do our own generators. Uh, you can take the inside, locally made in apps. In addition, this system generates 100 watts and it can be used in the remote areas for like four homes.
to support learners. Most importantly, in recognition of their tireless vigor employed by the rural women teachers in their quest towards improving quality education. Congratulations. So, this category are going to be awarded by the Director General of Education Board and the country director of Iwawe, who have been the sponsors of these gifts. And as they give them their respective gifts, so I've been guided, I call each one then is given a certificate as he hand, uh, shakes the hand with the ministers and a photo. So I repeat this list. Queen Injira, Asten, Chuzuzo, Yvette, and I, I think it would be very good if they could follow the order how we read them, if they remember. Chuzuzo, Yvette, Mukaga, Tere, Patience, Yiraba, Rishima, Akremanti, Aikamie, Beatrice, Umiliwe, Oliver, Yaba, Hinde, Marit, Rose, Zaisenga, Leoni, Uize, Apoloni, Nahiwe, Adeline.
na hiwe Adelina Mukaneza Josephine Senga Donata Mukanavana Josephine Zai Senga Donata Josephine Mujawa Maria Donata Nira Mahingura Christine Tony Sylvie Urukundo Providence Muka Chimeni Therese Kamogo, Christine, Muka Nyangui, Karim, Muka Nechezi, Frida, Mwarache, Marie Goretz. Twenty-five rural women have been given a smartphone. Congratulations! And I, I take this opportunity to invite the honourable ministers to get a group photo with these rural women. Thank you. These 
are teachers in the rural districts. Thank you. So, uh, category two of the Wadis. This category has eight people to be awarded, and these are initiatives that have been taken.
Another person in this category is Mr. Bigaba Emmanuel. Yes. Mr. Bigaba Emmanuel from Group Escola Rimako, Rusiz District. Is he here? Mr. Rimako has contributed to the implementation of the CBC using ICT in teaching and learning. He has been improvising to ensure that what we don't have in terms of laboratory equipment and facilities, he uses his own laptop We have decided to award him a laptop and a certificate of recognition. The next person is, is Mr. Gasole Serge. He's the founder of Rwanda Children Christian Foundation and he owns a school and facilitates pupils from poor families, especially category one and category two, to access free education. And parents get involved in school activities as co actors in the education of their children. Congratulations, Mr. Gasol. We are winning a trophy and a medal and a certificate of recognition. Congratulations. <laughs> Next category is a call prime, uh, a call prime Marie Opusiatris, or abbreviated EPEMA, in recognition for their integration of culture in teaching and learning and he's the first school to establish a museum at the school. And students are, when learning, especially in Rwanda, it becomes a laboratory for the language, a purely good cultural setting where kids learn properly in Rwanda. Congratulations. And I call upon Sister Elizabeth Furaha. Congratulations. They are given a trophy, a trophy, sorry, a medal, and a certificate of recognition. Congratulations. Sonia from Maranyondo Girls School. This category, sorry, uh, these students introduce high tech in education system where they use robotics and 3D in teaching and of course making their own scholastic materials. We would like to give two tablets, one per student, a flat screen to their club, a tablet to the trainer, Of course, each of them will get a certificate of recognition. And finally, they will get 
and air tickets and training I call upon Nikuze Clementine, sorry, I beg your pardon. She's also part of this group, Nikuze Clementine. And <laughs> you request the minister to declare that opportunity, training, and minister of state will award the flat screen and we'll call, uh, call upon the representative of UNICEF to come and give the tablets the phone. And, and air tickets when you run there. Two way From Rwanda to where? They will be given an opportunity to go to the United Arab Emirates yeah. for training. Category, we have an executive secretary, sector executive secretary, who has contributed tremendously to the advancement of the quality of education. And we call upon Mr. Kairanga, Glorious, Executive Secretary of such a sector, to come forth. a school data center in such a sector to eliminate dropout repetition. They track all that information. Actually, yesterday, the governor of Eastern Province instructed all districts in the form of replicating the technology she has put up to use it. And today, we also recognize this lady giving her a flat screen a laptop and a certificate of recognition for an exemplary work done. Congratulations. So she used to do paperwork, and of course, we are empowering her with IT that she digitizes all that best practice she has been using, and it has paid off. Tremendous. By the way, she reduced from statistics, she reduced the dropout from 5.8 to 0.6. We have to check from our own statistics her method she deployed indeed produced very good results. Repetition fell, dropouts fell, and of course, excellent work has been exhibited in the whole of that sector. Congratulations. Finally, in this category, is Sister Tuisenge Claudine. She's a head teacher. She's given a car. No. What about him? From Amis Apex Janja, a school of an education student with disability needs, and in line with keeping them with skills for a better future, the school puts more emphasis on practical skills 
students will severe disabilities perform various hands-on activities. In an effort to advance those giving top priority to special needs in education, we are awarding this lady a brand new motorcycle. It is in recognition to her efforts to give care, support the weak, and empower those who lag behind academically to ensure that at least they acquire a school from the school. Because there are some of those who are not neglected, but she puts in a lot of effort. And with that, we come to the end of that category. The third category of our needs okay. are the domina. Sale domina. She can come here. Number four, Eastern Province from Nyagatari. And the school is Nyagatari Secondary School. The headmaster is Kabare Edward. Congratulations, welcome. Number three, Kigali City, Gasamo District. Fawai Girls School, Sister Ayama Eugene. Number two, Southern Province from Rohango District, Banda Tibet School. Yangamira Gilbert, Gilbert. Number one comes from Northern Province, Willow District, GS. Upper Peck Murambi. The head teacher to be awarded is Dunia Jamari Viani. Why are we awarding these head teachers? These
Fine pair teachers awarded because they demonstrated inspiring performance in school leadership and management in general, and specifically for remarkable school improvement and implementing education sector policies using specific initiatives such as ICT, inclusive education, use of school resources, available instructional materials to teachers, and ensuring that they are used efficiently. Significantly, they reduce dropout, repetition, but put viable strategies in place to ensure that no learner drops out or repetition rate is eliminated or at least do not exceed accepted limits through education quality improvement. Making frequent pedagogical inspections and support teachers improving the quality of lesson delivery. Substantially improved hygiene, sanitation to create learner-friendly environment. They exhibited ability to motivate teachers to improvise in order to get teaching materials and to use teaching aids appropriately to enhance teaching and learning process. Putting in place necessary equipment and materials to facilitate the integration of ICT in teaching and learning. Implementation of cross-cutting issues such as availability of equipment for girls' room, clubs, sports, games, and inclusive education. Congratulations to the winners. Here are the awards. The work, most, uh, Monica Tete, a laptop and a trophy, and plus a certificate, and I'll beg your pardon. Eastern Province will get a laptop, a trophy, and a medal. Category four. Category four. It is a list of 
education, education sector officers. They are key partners in the education sector. And in the course of selection from 416 education sector officers, we identified nine sector officers to be awarded based on excellent performance of their responsibilities. Number nine, Dukuzumuremi Jerome from Borero District. Number eight, Niozima Innocent from Nyabihu District. Big way. Please, could you applaud them? Number seven, Nizima Damie from Nyarugu District. Child sector. Number six, Munyakazi Boaz. Gisagara District, Yorwa Sector. Number five is Lambe Eugene, Kasawa District. And from number nine to number five, they are going to be given all a smartphone and a certificate of recognition. Number four, sorry, number four. Number four, Sengimana Martin, Chilehe District from Mahama.